Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. All right, guys, to get today's show started, Steve Fisher of Sentinel Concepts is off in Pascagoula, Mississippi. He's going to talk about pistol standards and how to include that in your training regimen. Hey, everybody, Steve Fisher from Sentinel Concepts here, back in beautiful Mississippi where it's still hot. What we have today is standards and qualifications. The problem is that most people go to the range today and they practice. It's not really a problem, but they don't know what they're practicing or why. So going to the range with a plan, having a set of standards, having a good qualification course, something structured that gives you a markable or measurable improvement or actually showing where you may be falling back on some skills and where you do need to work back on things to get back to X, Y, or Z level. So what we find is having a good course of fire, a good set of standards that are timed, scored, measurable, that allows the shooter to understand their improvements, and that's kind of what we're after. Without those, you're just going to the range and you're just making noise. So what I have today is I have Murray with us and Tatiana. They're gonna shoot a qualification or standard that we have, which is five strings of fire of five rounds each at 25, 15, 10, and five, and three yards. All right, shooters are loaded up. You're already set to go. Range is going hot. All right, stand by on the timer. This is five rounds, 25 yards, 10 seconds. Worry about getting the hits, don't worry about the time. We're looking for good accuracy, but we still gotta try to make them within those measures. Shooter's ready. All right, good, 994 was the overall time for both shooters, still within the limits. All right, next course of fire, 15 yards, five rounds, you have seven seconds. All right, shooter, stand by. Remember, good fundamentals, sights and triggers, stand by. All right, shooters, targets are at 10 yards now. We need five rounds in five seconds, center mass, all right? Got to get that gun out, get it up, get on the sights, and start getting on the triggers, all right? This is critical distance, stand by. All right, not bad, five. Oh, 09, just slightly over, hits are what's important right now. We can always build on that. All right, shooters, we're at five yards, five rounds in three seconds. Critical components here is getting the gun out of the holster, a fast, aggressive draw, driving the gun out to the threat, picking up the sights as soon as possible, and getting those hits. All right, shooters, stand by. Again, five rounds, five yards, three seconds. Stand by. Nice, 329, just slightly over, still good. We've got good, solid hits. All right, shooters, we're going to the three yard line. All right, shooters, three yard line. This is gonna be an enhanced failure drill in three seconds. An enhanced failure drill is basically three rounds center mass, followed by two rounds to the brain box, all right? So what we're looking for is to start with the guns in and out in a low ready position or the position of choice that you guys normally use. So shooters, go ahead, get your guns out, get them presented. All right, shooters, stand by. All right, 288, safe and reholster. All right, line's cold. Good job, guys. All right, guys, so little target evaluation. We shoot the standards cold. Why? Because it's markable, it's measurable. And the thing is, by having them cold, there is no warm up in the real world, as people like to say. So we look at the targets here, Murray's target, pretty decent. We've got some really low shots initially at some of the distance. You know, could be one of those things, people just don't practice that yardage enough, which is true, most don't. One or two out of the brain box, still pretty happy with that. Most are still pretty good center mass. Thoracic cavity, they're gonna definitely do well. Tatiana, we look at her target. We've got some really nice high thoracic cavity shots, few more out and high. Yep, they'll work, but we demand better, we always expect better. 
Brain box shots are there, very effective, okay? The thing to remember is this, people, go to the range, have a plan, write them down, keep track of your times, your standards, your scores, find out where you need to improve on and practice that. Hey guys, again, remember, go out and practice and remember you are the one that's responsible for your own safety. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, BCM, Bravo Company USA, Nemo Arms, Lucid Optics, Drago Gear, Trigger Tech, Primary Weapon Systems, EOTech, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Wiley X, and Summit Ammunition.